Hi, welcome to the 26th Hammer Tutorial. We're going to be making a refracting image. For this, you're going to need the Sonic Sight VMT Maker, Photoshop with the normal map maker plugin, or Crazy Bump. I'll put links in the sidebar so you can download what you need. So the first thing you want is an image that we're going to refract. And if you don't know what a refract is, it manipulates what's behind it, kind of like a stained glass piece. So, I already have an image that I'm going to use. It's actually a photo that I got offline that I ran through the stained glass filter in Photoshop. So, we're going to make a couple of refracts based off this image. So, you want to open Photoshop or Crazy Bump, and you want to make a normal map out of it. If you're doing this in Crazy Bump, the easiest way to get a good uh, stained glass looking one is to turn shape recognition off and turn fine detail all the way up large det very large detail off and large detail down to like 20 and set your intensity to about 23 and then once you have a normal map that you're happy with you can just click save save normals to file and if you can ever save your image as a PNG you want to it's the best image quality that you can get before they go to VTF so now you need to create a folder inside materials in your game directory I already have a folder named test created so now we need to make these into VTFs so open VTF edit or save them as VTFs using Photoshop I'm just going to import one save it as refract TNT and import the second one and you usually want to save normal maps with the postfix NRM. It stands for normal map. And then you want to drag those in to your folder and open the Sonic Site VMT Maker. Once the Sonic Site VMT Maker is open, you'll be at the common tab. You want to select refract and then go to the refract tab. Then in here you have all sorts of fun goodies to choose from. You want normal map and you want to browse for the normal map that we had made. And then you want to go to tool commands and under tool texture you want to click browse and you want to browse for the normal map again. This is going to give us an image that hammer will display. If you don't have a tool texture it will be pink and black inside a hammer that would be bad. So then hit save and then we're just going to call this refract effect. Refract no effect. And then if you open the VMT you'll see the base commands for this and the normal map and the tool texture down there and the refract shader. So now we're going to add some effects to this. We're going to make another one that's tinted blue. So you just choose a color you can change the refract amount around and but it all works fine as default then you click save and we're just going to name this one refract blue and now you want to set that back to white so it's default and we're going to create one more using this TNT or tint image so under refract tint texture you want to click browse and select the TNT and then click save just going to name this refract tint. Now, if you'll notice in the refract blue compared to the refract no effect, you'll see that the refract tint color has changed. It's now a blue color instead. And under the refract tint texture, we now have a refract tint, refract tint texture command. So now we want to open up hammer and put these into a map file. You can close all other programs. And then once hammer is open, you want to open a map. I'm going to use just some map that I put together earlier. And 
And now, the first thing you want to do when making refracts in Hammer is select your node draw. Because you don't want any unseen faces to have a refract on them. A refract effect is very costly on the engine and will lag slower computers if it's not used properly. So you want to make sure that you use this correctly and without error. So the first thing you do in Hammer is, like I said, create no draw block. Make it to the size you want. And then find your texture. And here's RR. Here's our our textures. You have refract blue, refract no effect, and refract tint. We're gonna apply refract no effect to the first one. And then click fit. You know if you notice that it's just it looks like it's just reflecting everything around it. That's the base reflections for the skybox. That's how refract images work inside Hammer. And then after you have it applied to your texture or brush, you want to press Control T to make it an entity, and select Funk Brush. And now, since it's a Funk Brush, it will always be rendered, and it won't mess up. If it's not a Funk Brush, it'll look very bad inside game, and it won't refract. Now we're going to apply the refract blue here to the other one, and you'll see that it now has a blue effect to it. And last but not least, we're going to create our refract tint. And now that you see the refract tint texture that we applied here, it's actually colored per area, which gives it probably the best effect. I'm going to compile this, and then I will see you inside of Counter-Strike. Now we're in Counter-Strike, and if you look at the first one we made, which is clear, there's no effect on this whatsoever except for the refract manipulation of what's behind it. And you'll see that it does refract everything that's behind it. And the second one we have is blue, which has a heavy blue tint on everything, but still gives the same refract effect. And the best looking one is with the refract, refract tint texture. This uses another image that we used to give it a tint per pixel. So, I hope this tutorial has helped you create refracting images or answer any other questions that you've had on textures. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.